at Cloud Next with Mukesh. Thank you so much for being here, Mukesh. And he's going to talk to us about Security Command Center Enterprise. So Mukesh, before we start, can you just introduce yourself and give us a brief description of your talk that you're giving? Sure, absolutely. So excited. We talked about Security Command Center. And we are releasing this new version of Security Command Center called Security Command Center Enterprises. And it has a host of new features. What I'm most excited about is the security posture and infrastructure as a code capability, which basically makes the job of security professional much more easier and efficient while they are defining the posture or the, when the developer is working with infrastructure as a code. Amazing, yes, so new posture and infrastructure as code. So, you know, as I think you say in your talk, the best way to prevent security issues, oh, I'm sorry, the best way to fix security issues is to prevent them in the first place, right? So walk us through these new features that you spoke about, why they're so important, and some of them are industry firsts, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so basically, security starts with defining what you want to secure and how you want to secure. If you just like to secure everything as gold, there, is, that, that, there are not that many people who can help you protect, or there's not that many resources. So first is, you identify what posture you need to apply for the whole org. And then there is some granular data which may need more security. So you can basically apply higher set of controls on that. And then there, there might be a test system which may need less security. So the posture capability helps you take the standards like NIST or take the secure AI capability and customize it to your workload and then apply it the right amount of security in the granular way so that you are not spraying and praying, you are targeting where the right security need to be, and then you get the optimal result. Wonderful, okay, so that's very interesting. Can you tell me about some specific types of security posture controls and IAC misconfigurations that the new features uh, are assigned to address? Yeah, absolutely. For example, we have a new posture for securing AI workload. So anybody who is here at Next is talking about AI workload, but AI workload needs the same amount of security, if not less, than the remaining workload. So we have an out-of-the-box posture for your AI workload. So you can take that, change it to your need, and then apply it to your right AI workload. And if somebody is changing the preventive controls there, it is going to detect and tell that now your environment is less secure. And after that, if data is getting exploited or accessed by the people who should not be accessing it, it is going to file a violation so that at the real time, you're able to not only find what is the issue, you're able to fix the issue and prevent costly breaches. Right, exactly. Costly is a key word there. We're being proactive here. We're finding things right on time when they happen or before, which is amazing for security. We love that. So how do these new features seamlessly integrate into the existing capabilities of SCC? Are there with specific workflows or processes besides the ones that you mentioned that are enhanced? Yeah, absolutely. I think for security, they deal with so many tools that it is important that they need to fit together. For example, the posture is out of the box with SCC command center, so you don't need to add anything new, it's there for you. It brings in the preventive controls and the detective controls together for you. What IAC does is you have the same control which you have in your cloud environment available for developer. So the developer, all they want to, to do is do coding. They're not worried about security. But if you can help integrate security as part of their workflow, they are happy and they can move faster. So let me give you an example. So as a developer, if I'm writing code, which will get deployed after two days and after a week, I'm going to find out it is going to break something in security I will go through the whole cycle again after a week, which if it was detected while I'm writing the code, I could save that one week for security and also deploy code faster. That's what I want to do as a developer. And security is not coming and telling me that you are creating bad environment and bad code for us, which you have to fix, find the root cause, assign to the right person. As a developer, I'm empowered to fix that. So basically it integrates into the posture flow into the developer flow and makes the whole job of both DevOps and SecOps team easy. Okay, wow, so you're saying as a developer, I can actually 
help keep my company more secure without really having to do extra work. Absolutely. Wonderful. That means my boss will never be mad at me, right? <laughs> yeah, like they can get a better good night's sleep that you're writing code as well as keeping it secure without any extra effort, learning what security means. If you are a developer, you want to write as much code as you want so that you can move faster as a company. So you talk about Lloyd's Banking Group in your, in your talk and you've been partnering with them for a few months, you've said. Can you talk to us about the scale and complexity of their deployment and how they're using these new features and maybe any challenges that they may have faced? Absolutely. It was fun working with Lloyd's Bank as a design partner from the last six months. They are not only the uh, one of the top five bank in the UK, they are also like quite pioneer and innovator in adopting new tech. So what I see them is there is a hunger to take new tech and see how security can get out of the way from business to help them move forward. It's not like the security which is trying to control and stop business. Their role is completely changed. They're in a billion dollar transformation to kind of help business move faster to compete with new financial uh, technology out there. So what they have done is they have used the posture and define multiple posture for different type of workload. And once they have these dozens of posture, they are going to apply this and get both preventive, detective controls and club that with the pipeline control. So they have the consistent control across preventive, detective and pipeline control. And once they have it together, basically what they say is, I can get a better good night's sleep, ensuring that my developers, my SecOps team, and my cloud ops team are following the posture which I have defined. And whenever they break that, I have an opportunity to, to fix that. But we do have preventive controls which basically stop them from breaking anything in place. So that is one part. Other part is because we allow the customization and exception from the beginning itself rather than coming as afterwards, it saves them huge amount of time and effort. So basically you spend like one hour sooner and then it saves you hundreds of hours later to deal with war-like situation and insecurity. Yeah, investing time up front to save a lot of time yeah, later. Absolutely. Great, okay, and just to round it out, any best practices or lessons learned for folks that might want to start using Security Command Center Enterprise themselves and their organizations? Yeah, so one of the thing is that when Security Command Center was offered as part of Google offering, it was considered that it's GCP only. Now that we are expanding to other cloud like AWS and Azure, the platform is truly expanding and it contains the posture of both for preventing and detective. So you need to think about not just every small detail of controls, one granular level. You need to think how the postures need to be defined for the whole org and then rolled out in an additive manner and additive manner. So that is a key big change. And the posture not only contains misconfiguration, it contains identity, it contains AI, and it all's coming together. So it requires a little bit of thinking and upfront, but it saves you a huge amount of time. And it not only integrates posture, but also a threat, the response pieces, they are all coming together with the new security commands and enterprises. Very excited to see a lot of customer interest on that. And I'm looking forward to hear from customer on how they make use of this technology and make their job at security easier. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Mukesh. Uh, as he said, he's excited to hear from all of you. What do you think about Security Command Center Enterprise? And make sure to check out some of the other videos we made in the description. Have Thank a you. great rest of your day. Thank you.